All right, Volley Bear matchup, guys. It's a tough one. It's a tough lane phase for sure. Um, I always go D Shield second win in this lane. Really nice against his passive. Oh, he went D Shield as well. And we're playing against Elise too, so we want to play just safer in general this game. Wow, that is a really early first blood. Not going to go for too crazy of a trade. At least started bot side, so she's going to be pathing up. If we trade too much, then we'll just get dove. Presence of mind over triumph. I always go triumph, personally. Triumph is too clutch on Ergot, because you're stacking so much HP. Like, the heal's actually insane. Nice, good trade. No I'm a big fan of Tramp too. Like, the Runa saved me just so many times. He does have a ward there. Okay, that's fine. Just sleeping it out. Uh oh. You're gonna have to flash, brother. It's a tanky bear, man. We just stay together there so she can't uh, jump away. She's got nothing else to jump to, thankfully. Good rotation there by Zoe. We just had numbers, so we just kind of win. Dude, winning against a uh, Bully Elise early is so challenging, actually. These champions are just so strong compared to Ivern or Got Man. Dang, I can't push that in fully. Uh, this is going to be tricky. I don't even care about last hitting, just trying to get this shoved. He's thinning it down with his E and his passive a lot, so that's good enough. We get the cannon pushed in. Probably just go for a fade here. Go a little bit more on the safer side. I haven't tried Hole Breaker into Volley, but it sounds really good on paper. Because he, he does so much mixed damage. Like, he's one of the best mixed damage targets. So we'll be benefiting from the armor. We'll be benefiting from the MR. Stats are good. HP region sounds really good, too. Like, you're just trying to make it through this lane. So we'll test it out. Should be good. I think there's Silas had to... Uh, he had to catch up on waves because he got solo killed. So that's why he wasn't able to come over here and... Answer the 3v3. What's my take on Holebreaker? I think it's really good, dude. I think it's very good. The item, the item's cheap. The stats are good. And yeah. It's really good into mixed damage targets, I feel like. It just seems like the most cost-effective item into mixed damage. An ally has been slain. Okay, Elise is really low. We should be fine to push. Hopefully this guy's a little far off six. Well, 
Well, since I'm going Hullbreaker first, I have to do Phage. I either have to do Phage or Pickaxe. And I definitely, I like to go for the defensive option into Volley every time. Like, even when I go Titanic into him, I usually go Ruby Crystals. Back when I was doing Titanic first. Ooh, nice. Because the thing about the volley matchup, dude, you're just trying to get to level 9. Without dying. <laughs> not much I can do about that, to be honest. It is what it is. I'm not sure where she came from, though. Because I had vision here, and I had vision here. Oh, you know what? I don't think we had vision there, actually. I think he literally just did that. Uh, okay, we'll do this. I'll build into anti-heal. I would like to get my Holebreaker first, but we'll see. We'll see how the gold values work out. Honestly, one death to Elise early game. That's kind of that's just gonna happen against Elise volley. If I only die once pre-9, we're, we're honestly chilling. Yeah, I was going to say that once you get 9 in this matchup, you can usually start to win. I don't know about this game because he's going full tank. We might need a few more levels. He's building purely for the lane. The thing about Tabby Bramble, it's really good against Urgot in lane, but it delays your build so hard. So like mid game, you just fall off. Which compared to Urgot, Voli already falls off. The nice thing right now, if he hits me with that passive, it honestly, I'd either take no damage or just heal it with D-Shield second win. So I'm not even worried about eating the passives here. Holy moly, the four man. Both of their ball laners rotated there. Interesting. He's taking it back here. We'll just push. Get our pickaxe. I could maybe risk a play, but then it'll give me a slower back time. Which I'm not a huge fan of here. Oh, he actually didn't go for a back. Oh, boy. Not too much they could have done about that, it looks like. I will say the other team is playing... They're playing as a team really well right now. Like, they're just four-manning everywhere. Okay, double TPs. We'll try to help out bot lane soon. Once my TP's up. Room after this plate, maybe. Get a little free red buff here. Oh, nice. She landed it. So tanky, man. We need Zoe on him. Ah. Oh. I 
I feel like one Zoe Q will kill this guy. Alright, we're chilling. She has no mobies, should be good. You can buffer Volley's stun in this matchup, so right as he cues you, like right before he cues you, you want to get that E off. That's what I did right there. They might try to dive me. Need this guy to rotate ASAP, dude. Alright, we're good. I kind of need to get a back off though, man. I don't know. If Zoe comes over. Nice, well played. I should be able to take over this game. Wait. Wow. Really nice, actually. How did she know? I had no idea she was in there. Did we even see her go in there? Well played, man. You know what? I should probably go key max second this game, actually. Dude, I don't know if I want to go hole breaker now. Yeah, I don't want to go for this. I'm sitting on way too much. Mercreds. Wow, dude, I just got so much. I'm just going to go gore this game because I'm already, like, built into the components. I don't want to go Hullbreaker because I already got this guy's turret. And, like, the plating's already dropped. I feel like I won't get as much value. Let's try to do something here. I got ulti up. Go on their bot lane. Taking all the kills, man. <laughs> Alright, I'm confident this game. I'll make good use of them. Ooh, I hope it's an ocean saw. I like how I use my E there. Alright, that's fine. He's gonna lose a big wave top. Honestly, I can tell by how my team's playing this game. I can tell they're good players. You can tell when people are good players and like when they make the best of a hard situation. Like that fight was really, really bad on paper and we still made the best of it.
Might as well snake these real quick. Gold is just better on me than Ivern right now. He's kind of more just like supporty. See if we can snipe someone, maybe. Salus is looking juicy. Ooh, I was about to flash. Maybe just in range. Good job. It is a little bit early, that's true. I don't know, I feel like we get Baron off this though. I think it's worth. It's not that early. We can 20 minute Baron with our lead. We'll stick around for the red buff here. That's what I love about having an Ivern dude. You just have to walk into that like circle thing. Anytime you see that circle, you just walk into that and you get the buff. Go Cleaver. Cleaver's gonna feel nice this game. Ivern's such a wonk wonky champion. He really is. He's so unique, I feel like. I really like playing with an Ivern, though. He's just like a... I feel like he's what top laners want. Just a really supportive jungler. Like, gives you a way to go in, gives you shields, gives you red buffs. Like, all that stuff is just so nice on a lot of Bruisers and Juggernauts. I do have TP. I think we should play more for... Okay. Yeah, he is up pretty far, actually. This might work. I can always switch onto Elise here, too, maybe. I don't want to ulti volley because he still has ult. And if he ults at the right time, then I can't. He can't be disabled, so I can't pull him. Oh man. My W lock on is too quick. Nice, GG. I'll give it to Zoe for that rotation early game. That was definitely nice. Nice, that was a clean game against Volley too, man. GG's, GG's.